I spinned head first into my first ever Unknight Inverse Tournament. I have never really played earlier entries in the franchise, my combos are severely lacking as I have only completed the advanced section and I only played about 10 hours at that point in time. My character of choice is Batista, a zona charge character with cursed inputs, including forward-backward and upward-downward charges, as well as holding and releasing buttons at different times. So she is a bit tricky, to say the least. Without further ado, let's get right into the action and see how well I do. And my first opponent is Alias, a Linne player, so I don't know how good anyone is in this game, because I'm pretty new to the scene of Undernight, to the European scene, but the scene in general and the game in general as we just discovered and he's a pretty similar rank to myself so this looks like a fair match but of course uh, ranks don't matter anything and especially in Undernight where you can just grind them with your friends in, in rooms and as you can see great combo from Alias here doing 3.4k damage and as we've discussed earlier I don't have any good combos at that point in my career so um, and I've entered a few other uh, events after uh, making the video so yeah let's see how this goes the first match was very decisively Alias side I have to say but of course uh, getting the zoning down which is definitely my strongest part so far getting the neutral and here I get the Oki setup like this is this is the advanced combo one essentially and all the advanced combos are pretty much the same which is a little bit sad because I wish they had some variations here to prepare you for the expert combos because those are quite a difficulty ramp and another very nice combo, spending their meter, getting good damage on myself here. Alias is putting in work with Linne who is more of a uh, speedy ca type character and uh, Artista as, as you see is a Zona style character but not entirely Zona so she can't get like insane damage from her, uh, from her fireballs or anything so she has to get in eventually but uh, essentially you try to um, to barrage your opponent with projectiles until, until they come to you and then you can get in when they don't expect it, mix it up and get your victories that way and here my C flash kick, I sadly don't know what he's mo na uh, attack moves so far, I just know that she says Kuru Kuru with, when, she's, uh, when she uses the JC, so jump button, yeah, at that point wrong button for the aerial uh, laser if you don't know that's a forward back charge so very <laughs> interesting one of the things that made me ma wanna main her of course and yeah it's looking good right now for me the thing is the question is if I can uh, get the matches get the victory in I should have been able to confirm that before because I had all the meter in the world but instead I get flat I get DP baited there and you definitely see this and this is one of the reasons why I'm uh, starting this channel essentially is that I also want to encourage uh, lower level players to uh, to play in tournament because for me personally I feel like uh, playing feels a lot more meaningful and it's more fun because I enter tournaments even if I go 0-2 and get robbed like this I essentially had this could have been my round but it was Alia's round instead or game rather because they just won both rounds but at the very least I get a good, fairly good hit in again this could be a lot more if I had the proper combos at that time but I don't I still don't to be honest but I I definitely worked my way up a little bit in the combo ladder. One of those things you have to. And yeah, I'm having a good time in this round, just getting the hits in. But uh, Alias is fighting back valiantly, staying on top my, of myself right now. Very nice jump out from myself. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be a flash kick, but we take the jump out into JC punish. And 2C seats around. So I'm up one round in the second game. So this could be this could be my game. If I don't lose nerfs of course and uh, they don't they drop confirms and stuff like that, right? 
in 2.3, I think there was probably either that was a reset attempt or they mis messed up the combo. Either way, it's fine for myself because I didn't get hit afterwards. Yeah, good. Combo damage. Again, I don't really know how much each character is capable of. As I, at that point in time, I've played about 10 hours, and I've, now that I'm commentating it, I've played about 25 hours or so. So, yeah, I only have limited experience from my net play sessions, and I haven't played the previous installments. So, but yeah, definitely still anyone's game, but they are on top of myself. I've got the meter advantage, though, but not the grid gauge advantage, so that's another thing. If your character flashes in blue or purple, I believe, or is it always blue? I'm not sure. Um, then you have access to Veil Off, another strong mechanic. And of course, yeah, it's always blue. Now it's confirmed. It's always blue, regardless of your side of the grid gauge. And yeah, if you if your character does that, you have access to more uh, to another mechanic. And very nice combo there, locking me down in the corner. Alias takes the game, very well done. Unfortunately, um, Alias didn't make it that far into the tournament as well, losing the next two games. But yeah, we want to see that. We want people to enter those tournaments just so that they are more fun for everyone. Like, if only the bestest of the best enter, then we don't have a chance. And yeah, I'm still rambling, but we are already in the next game against Easy One OK okay with 2K, so yeah. I hope that's the name he goes by, at least it was his challenge name and his name in-game. And yeah, as you see, S3 Yuzuriha, as we saw, uh, said before, not really that meaningful in this game, unfortunately. But I still take that as some sort of, uh, of validation. And it definitely seems that this guy has earned his rank. Yuzuriha is this game is a character with uh, those very long Poke Normals, so a lot like Johnny from Guilty Gear in that sense. And yeah, definitely one of the matchups that felt pretty difficult online. It's because yeah, I'm trying to zone them out, but they don't really need that much to contest me. Like uh, just a small dash and they can contest me. That was actually a good uh, usage of um, yeah of my dive kick there. So the dive kick is a cursed up down motion. I'm pretty used to those because of Kagura, but I'm not really used to the cancel timing in this game because it's a lot different. Because in, in Blaze Blue it's pretty much almost immediately, and in this game you have to actually wait a little bit until the character jumps into the air and then uh, gets the flash kick out, which is a bit weird. So you can buffer it a lot better in in Blaze Blue, and I almost got another one of those. So yeah, pretty proud, pretty playing pretty good. Also very close rounds this far. On. Oh, yeah, I get this round. Very nice. So even though the matchup doesn't feel that favorable for me, um, I was able to still stand my own ground against a fairly strong opponent, I believe. Again, not too familiar with the scene, but. We we'll get there after I enter enough tournaments, then I maybe know who is good and who isn't. It doesn't really help that much, of course, that the scene is a lot bigger than an Idle Showdown because an Idle Showdown is almost immediately clear because there are like six players and then you see just see who wins. You know, I like okay, this player is good, <laughs> but yeah, with Undernight, definitely a very uh, much played game these days. And easy okay, easy one okay takes the ga first game. But yeah, very much played. I entered like three weeks in the span, three events in the span of a week. So uh, yeah, those videos will of course also c still come out. So look forward to that. And yeah, I'm trying to hold my own here, and I get the JC one of her best buttons according to Air, uh, who's one of the best Batistas in the world probably, but at least in Europe, and uh, very good man. We will hear, hear more about him in later episodes of this un <laughs> unnamed format where I just play Undernight in tournament. 
And accordingly, I've made a new, uh, I've made a new scoreboard. I hope you like it. Okay, this orb, like, wasn't the best placement because on the ground it's easier for, to use for Oki. Uh, but yeah, if you want to be really good with her, then you obviously have to uh, be on point with your orb placements and also use both and not only the low one. But of course, the low one is the one that's easier to use. Yeah, another JC, god button of all time. Cool, cool. Yeah, unfortunate. That's what you would see. The orbs are one of the biggest starters, and I still only get 2.5k out of it. That's definitely one, the one thing that holds me back a lot. Because as you see now, my opponent does know that confirms and got get 4.7k. I mean, they might probably a lot better combo still with Yuzuriha. I don't know how her damage damage are. I know that Batista has similar damage in the expert combo trials, but even then, uh, like the difference is just insane. When my best combo is 4k and my uh, median combo is like 2.2k. And they are doing 3.5 and more on the regular, then yeah, I just need to win Muto so much more. And if they play like this, completely locking me down with the super well spaced normals, I don't stand a chance. Very well played for an easy one, okay, similar situation, doesn't make it far into the tournament, but yeah, I'm still very proud of you winning and I hope we fight again sometime. Yeah, that was my tournament run at the Hollow Knight League Qualifier 1 for Uni 2. Make sure to check out the stream if you're interested and see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye!